Okay, so we're going to go over the missile silo. Again, that's coming in for PC Rust. Uh, I want to say the first Thursday in May. It's currently April, so this is going to be the new monument that's going to be out for PC Rust. And uh, I think once we get more underground things for us over on the console side, I think we'll start to see monuments like this. We'll see things like military tunnels, things like the, the train system and the tunnel system like that because it's all very underground system-ish. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go through the missile silo here. Check it out. We got the bunny outfit on. Very fitting because it's April for us. So on the outside of the compound, I don't see too many different loot areas. And again, a lot of this can still change as they are still actively working on this. There's already been a couple tweaks and a couple crash fixes. Um, as far as I know, I don't think we can get in these buildings, but I don't know what the plan is for these in the future. So I guess let's just go into the old missile silo itself. As far as I can tell, there's two entrances. Well, one entrance, and I think there's one exit. Let me just show you where it is real fast, and then we'll, we'll open up the lid here. It's nice to see all the changes happening over on PC, and it's also nice to see those changes happening for us on the console side. So glad there's a train update, huh? Hey, yeah? There's the exit, I think. I don't think we can get in on this side. I know we can leave from here. I've done it a couple times. Yeah, it looks like that's an exit only. That's wild. Okay, so it looks like the lid is the way in, at least what I've seen so far. Okay. I would suggest some type of light. And full disclosure, we are on a uh, like a custom server that's PVE, and we can spawn things in, so it makes things a bit easier for us. But looks like the guard shack here doesn't have any card that I can tell. And then you just kind of... Is that wild? <laughs> That's wild. Oh boy. Tell me that's not creepy, right? Okay, so it looks like there's different ways to jump down here. I've definitely um, broken my legs a few times, so we'll see if we can work this out. I'm sure this will be more populated with scientists. Like I said, it, it seems like a lot of this still has to be flushed out or added for us. I'm sure it's flushed out, but... Oh, see, there you go. We got some errors there on the left. Like this guy? Is that a scientist for us? I don't know. So it looks like we have the first floor here. And again, I'm going to be exploring a lot of this for the first time, too. I mean, I've walked through this a little bit, but it uh, looks like we have different levels here. It's kind of like the subterranean, um, kind of like the underwater labs, a little bit. Um, obviously, that's like a different uh, layout and stuff, but it's like a mixture between underwater labs and like a launch site. There is an elevator system as well, but we'll, we'll hit the stairs first. The bathroom over here, a lot of really sneaky places to hide. And as I said, I haven't really seen a lot of places that have loot. Pretty cool, right? Pride says, that's so sick. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty, it's, it's legit. Like I said, I think once um, <coughs> once that terrain system comes in, we get a few more improvements. I think some more underground monuments will be on the table for us. I don't know officially for us on the console side, but... Uh, it's very promising. I mean, after seeing the train update again for us, it's, it's been it's been nice. I think it's helped a lot. It's very Russian, isn't it? Look at these old monitors and stuff. I like it. I do like that. Like the more we get these monuments or kind of look at some of the detail, you really start to get more of the lore. Yeah, I think this would definitely be a loot room. It doesn't look like there's any crates in here that we can loot. Are we on? We're on level three already. All right. Ding. I, I for a second I thought it was like real PvP, and I was like, I need to equip a weapon. I was like, okay, we're safe, we're safe. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Sorry, old habits die hard. You know, it's rust. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think there's a way we can open here. And here's the thing. We're not entirely sure if this thing is actually launchable or not. Oh, that's that's beautiful, right? 
So I I don't know. I'm sure if there if there is, and that's a big if. I'm sure there'll be some type of balance that comes with it for sure. And believe you me, if it's out of balance, oh please don't break your legs. If it's out of balance, the, uh, they will make it right. They always do. Probably shouldn't have fallen all the way down, but it does look like it could be launched, but maybe this is just a monument, right? Like for the same reason why the space shuttle doesn't launch at the launch site. It's just something we walk around. There were a couple crashes here, so hopefully it doesn't uh, bite it for us. Oh, there's another elevator there. This one's creepy now. This one's in the thumbnail, yes? Yikes, dude. I'm getting those uh, old 80s Bond film vibes, right? Hit the sledgehammers. That's super creepy. And there were scientists a couple days ago back here. And again, since this is like an active thing they're working on, I'm sure they took them out for a second. They'll be back in. Probably good while we're walking through because it's a little obnoxious when they're ripping shots at us. And I think there's an exit back here, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty wild, right? Early days, missile silo. Pretty cool, right? But this definitely goes deep underground. Let me see if it shows up on the system here. Not really. Right? Like, we've got the tunnels that show up. Man, that'll be so cool when that comes in for us. They're a blast, by the way. Anybody on console wondering? The train system, above ground and underground, a blast. And fun fun fact, they are talking about, and I believe it's going to be this summer, they're talking about merging the underground tunnels with the above ground tunnels. And they have done recently a pass on the underground system, so that's really good news for us on the console. Now, again, I don't know when any of this is going to come in, but improvements here on the PC side are always good for us. And so they, they made a way to make the underground map system more efficient because it was quite inefficient prior to that. And so they put those into the game, and that's really good news for us. Now, I don't know where it is on the roadmap for us on the console side, but like I said, any improvements are, are good. Because we need them. I mean, the next gens can handle it for sure, like, you know, PlayStation 5 and the Series X and stuff. But do we come up on this side already? I feel like we didn't. We might have skipped this one. Now, this definitely has some bunker, or um, not bunker, the underground sea lab assets for sure. And I'm sure we'll walk through this more once more of the details put in here, the scientists and more of the key card stuff and loot options. But I just thought it was cool, so I thought we'd, you know, give it a walkthrough. I'm trying to find the way out of here. Ooh, there's the admin office. What's up? Did we come in here before? There's the turlets. Just that would be insane. Oh, that's reassuring. You like my oxygen. Control room. I didn't find a switch in here. I did look. I definitely looked. Definitely spam the action button anywhere I could. I was like, please launch the missile. Please, please, please. But yeah, there's there's still a lot to be added here for sure. Uh, Prod asked, is this a tier 3 monument? Unclear at this point. I know there's a blue card to leave, but I feel like there's more pieces to this. So, uh, unclear at this point. And then when you do leave, I do know you need a blue card, possibly, or if it's already been activated. I think you need this. Which is weird, right? That you would need the blue card to leave, but... Uh... Uh, <laughs> there it goes. <gasps> it's nighttime. So here's the exit side. And again, we'll kind of pull over here next to the, the monument itself. I'm glad we got on there during daylight. You see, that's the main entrance right there. That's the shack that opens. And again, as far as I know, none of these open yet. I don't know what the plan is for these bad boys. But yeah, that's the missile silo right now as we have it. 
Uh, over on the PC side, we'll be hitting us on the PC, I believe, early first Thursday in May is what it looks like. And we'll go ahead and open that door one more time because it's extra creepy at night, right? That creaky door is... Whew, it's creepy. 